Well, yesterday I was going to try to clean the back side of my shop here, where it's uh, my wood shop area, and somehow I decided to sharpen the blades on my planes. Um, I bought these planes from a buddy, uh, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. You might be watching some time ago, and uh, I did pick up uh, the sharpening system when I bought it from him, and I've sat there and ground and ground, and I, I never got anything completed. Here, here's a good example of a chisel that I did, and I'm poor. I'm poor at it. It, it, it cuts, but it's, it's ugly. So, all you woodchuck guys out there, don't hate me. Uh, I'm going to show you my cheat on how I did it. Um, the, uh, you can see my, my chisels now. They're uh, beaters, but uh, they're sharp now. And uh, I will show you uh, how I did it with my surface grinder. It might not be the correct way, uh, but I ended up with results. As you saw at the start of this video, uh, the planes were cutting beautiful. The, uh, these are uh, both Baileys, um, nice, nice planes, and uh, plan on doing a little woodworking around here, so I thought I'd tune them up and get them ready. Happy uh, Thanksgiving today, guys. And I hope you enjoy uh, watching uh, how I sharpen my blades. We're over here at the surface grinder. And uh, I'm going to do a little uh, sharpening on a hand plane blade. So you can see I've got the uh, sign plate here in the uh, sitting on the magnet. My stack blocks are underneath there. I'm going to go on up here. And as you can see, there's the blade out of the hand plane. Let's see if I can get my camera to be nice. Um, well, you can see there's a little chip out of the front here, uh, but I've already done the, uh, I've already done one blade and uh, much quicker uh, than uh, sitting there with uh, sandpaper on a piece of glass or stones. Uh, I've tried and uh, this, uh, this works out much nicer. So I've got the uh, sign plate set at uh, 20 degrees, the magnet's on, and uh, we'll touch off and uh, start getting the grind going. You guys moved out of the shot. Let's see if we can get you in here a little better. Thought I heard someone yelling there. Where am I? Let's see if we can get you some light. All this doggone effort. Light on the subject. Hey now. Guards off because uh, that hub won't fit behind the guard. 
Otherwise the guard would be on the wheel. Well, hopefully the camera's focusing there. So, the front of the blade's cleaned up. Got rid of my uh, chip that was over here out of the blade. I didn't do it. <laughs> and uh, now I'll reset, and uh, this is 20 degrees, and I'll cut the uh, front edge here at 21 degrees. Get that second bevel on it. So change the sign plate height. Okay, I just touched off and I'm um, picking up the secondary angle right here. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Okay. Let's go give it a try. Give it a little, uh, little clean up on the back. Uh, pull off that burr, some sandpaper, and uh, be ready to cut. Hey, I think I hit my vice. Yep. <laughs> oh, damn it, Chuck. Hmm. Okay, change of vice. That vice wasn't very steady in there anyway. So uh, we'll continue on with uh, this vice instead. 
it's in there nice and tight. Well, I get the height I need. I just get the height I need. Well, here's a finished uh, wood chisel. The uh, other vise I had set up really wasn't uh, uh, biting on the magnet very well. Bad setup, and you can see I touched it. Uh, this worked out well. It's in there real stiff. So that worked out well.